Yo, what's up, guys? It's Buff Game here. Welcome back to a new Pixel Gun World video. So, before I start this video, guys, I want to thank you for the support lately for my videos. I really appreciate it. And I have lots of videos, guys, coming up that week gun reviews and also uh, funny moments of Pixel Gun World. So, yeah, guys, stay tuned to this talk. So, let's go ahead and do this video. So, in this video, guys, I'll be showing you the top five best guns in pixel gun world top five best gun pixel gun world so what, what did i do i compared every gun pixel gun and have come up with the top five guns so in number five we have the shriken mini gun yes guys the shriken mini gun so this gun has been added in the news update for the game which is the kung fu and for real guys this gun so far has become one of the best primary weapons in the game or maybe one of the best weapons in the game so why what makes this gun so powerful and so like so amazing like that so what makes this gun amazing is it has bounce that so it has a really nice lethally and fire rate and capacity and mobility and it also have a unique ability which is bursting shots so what does bursting shots do bursting shots is, is like bolts that can go through an um, enemy and hit another enemy behind him so example you're shooting some guy and there's another guy behind him so when you shoot the first guy the bullets will go through him and hit the another guy so yeah guys this shit is amazing right it's so amazing so let's go ahead guys and see that beast in action and watch that video Number four. In number four, we have the space rifle. Yes, you hear me, the space rifle. I know lots of you might not know what is the space rifle. A space rifle is a sniper that used to be in the old Pixel Gun update, which was the Star Wars update. And this weapon used to cost around 17k and it's now considered one of the most rarest weapons in the game. What makes that weapon hit the list? It is because this gun is also balanced in everything. This gun has a really nice mobility and real nice stats overall. But this gun only has one problem. It is the ammo capacity. This sniper can only hold for ammo, which is kind of low but this gun is a beast when you wear the sniper helmet and the sniper cape so let's go ahead and see that beast in a match Number 3 
Number three, we have one of the strongest weapon that has ever been made in pixel gun world and this weapon is the silver musket the silver musket stands with 200 lethally which is one of the strongest lethally in the game but sadly this weapon has been removed from the recent updates for unknown reasons no one knows if they're going to come back or not but with such damage as that, there should be disadvantage in that weapon. This weapon has a very, very slow fire rate and also the ammo. This gun has two big issues. It's the ammo capacity and the fire rate. So this gun only can hold one bullet and it takes around three seconds to reload to the next bullet. So let's go and see the beast in action. Number two, we have the Sea Devil. The Sea Devil is the strongest heavy gun in the game. This gun has really high damage and really high area damage. The Sea Devil was from the first weapon to be released in Pixel Gun World. It was from the pirate update and the pirate update for the first update to come to Pixel Gun World. But sadly, the developers decided to remove all the pirate weapons, so that weapon cannot be obtained from the shop. And that weapon costed around 3k, and it's now considered one of the strongest weapons in the game. Number one, we have the Lorak and Lightsabers. They were first introduced in the Star Wars update and they gained lots of hate due to its OP damage and stat. After the many complaints about this gun, the developer decided to nerf the gun, but even after the nerf, the sabers were still the same as they were. The sabers were supposed to be removed from the game. But the developers decided to keep the old swords. The saber reused to cost around 28k, but after people asked the developers to raise the weapon price, the developers raised it for them. After the Kung Fu update, the sabers now cost around 85k. Hope you guys enjoyed that video, and if you enjoyed that video, don't forget to press a like and comment below your top 5 guns, and peace out.